welcome to The Theatre Show. I'm Georgiana Penwell and I'm here right outside Parliament House, Canberra, where the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Jim Hacker, is holding a press conference right now regarding the Australian tour of the classic stage show, Yes, Prime Minister. From inside Parliament House, we're going to find out if this play is just an excuse to laugh at politicians, we love it. Or is there a serious and important message? Let's ask the Prime Minister. Mark Owen Taylor appears with legendary Australian actor Philip Quast, who plays the delicious role of Cabinet Secretary Sir Humphrey Appleby. Pleasure to have uh, a refreshingly new Prime Minister within the House. <laughs> There's no truth in the rumour that he's preparing to challenge, that a spot is being made available for him in the Senate, and he'll be sworn in immediately so he can challenge later in the week. Thank you very much. Um, we are going to question time this afternoon, I believe, so it's going to be very, very interesting. Well, it, does anyone want, want to ask any questions? For well, I thought perhaps you could give us some advice here on uh, how we might incorporate the ACT within New South Wales and what political calls there might be. To that. I would say, speaking as a Prime Minister, I would prefer all states to be abolished. <laughs> You've asked a straight question and I'll give you a straight answer. Which, however, clearly must be considered in its proper context. Now, in the course of all financial negotiations, certain provisos have to be precogitated and preconditions. Various caveats have to be postulated, designated, investigated and specified. And a number of unequivocal considerations have to be determined, acknowledged and indeed sometimes conceded so that we are able to facilitate the finalisation of preliminary plans to create an epistemological basis for all parties to proceed to a mutually beneficial consummation which will acknowledge and safeguard the vital interests of all the participants without jeopardising in any material way any underlying collective benefit ultimately accruing to the signatories or leaving unresolved certain anomalies and irregularities that might precipitate operational uncertainties down the line. So there will be a presumed modicum of ironclad reciprocity which, in the broad scheme of things, will be to everybody's advantage. Does that mean yes or no? <laughs> so that sort of sums it up. And that's Sir Humphrey not committing to whether or not we should have federation or not, I think. Yes, Prime Minister, we'll be touring nationally from March 21st. Tickets are limited, so book early. Thanks, as always, to Stage Whispers magazine. I'm Georgiana Pinwell, and I will see you at the theatre. I think everyone is sort of loves the show because it's about wit and repartee. People have actually come up and say that, said, oh, it's so nice to hear people um, attacking each other but doing it out of wit rather than uh, let something less personal. <laughs>